celebrate the graduation of these students, let us start by praising you. May the words of David from the Psalms become the cry of our heart. We exalt you, my God and King, and praise your name forever and ever. We will praise you every day. Yes, we will praise you forever. Great are you, Lord. You are worthy of our praises. No one can measure your greatness. Let every generation, this generation, tell their children of your mighty acts. Let them proclaim your power. We will meditate on your majesty, your glorious splendor, and your wonderful miracles. Your awe-inspiring deeds will be on every tongue, and we will, we will proclaim your greatness. Everyone will share the story of your wonderful goodness. We will sing with joy about your righteousness. Today, we ask that you bless this ceremony. Bless every word spoken over these students, and may everything we do bring you honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon. Seniors, you made it. It is my honor and privilege to welcome you to the 115th commencement ceremony at St. Marcus Baptist Academy. In a few short moments, we will celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2023. As they cross this stage to accept their diplomas, signaling the completion of their upper school education, they will join a distinguished list of more than 6,300 individuals as alumni of San Marcos Academy. I am thankful that the families and friends of these graduates have joined us from all over the state, the United States, and the world for these historic events over the last few days. Families and friends, thank you for making the trip. Thank you for making the trip to honor these graduates with your presence here this afternoon. Individuals from the Board of Trustees are present and I would like to take a moment to recognize them. Please stand as I introduce you and we will recognize all of you at one time. First, I want to recognize Dr. Ruth Wellborn, Chair of the Board of Trustees. She will join me in granting our graduates their diplomas today, as well as Dr. Lane Lee, who is here, member of the Board of Trustees with his wife, Tiffany. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, as my final recognition, I'd like to recognize the First Lady, Christy Gunther, for her grace and support she extends to me and our family. As we begin the commencement of the class of 2023, I want to take this opportunity to remind you that this is a solemn ceremony yet celebratory. Parents, guardians, relatives, and friends are joining us from hundreds, even thousands of miles away just for the opportunity to hear the name and see the face of their students during this event. I ask that you pull your cell phones out now, take that quick selfie with the person next to you, and hit silent or vibrate on those phones. Keep your applause polite and brief so that we will not miss the name of any of our graduates. You may stand in place quickly if you need to take a picture so that you will not block the view of anyone else around you. And we appreciate all of your consideration on this. Commencement is a historic event in the lives of not only the graduates, but also their families and friends. For the class of 2023, the completion of their upper school careers has been undoubtedly an unforgettable time. These students have suffered through a pandemic, ever-changing protocols, and political clashes, and have proven themselves resilient and ready to face the challenges of the world. Seniors, congratulations on your completion today and your resilience and commitment to make it to the end. My prayer for you comes from Philippians chapter one. I thank my God every time I remember each of you. In praying for all of you, I pray with joy. I thank God for your partnership in the, preaching the good news through your lives. God began doing a good work in you, and I am sure that he will continue it until it is finished when Christ comes again. I pray that your love will grow more and more, and that you will have knowledge and understanding with your love. That you will see the difference between good and evil. 
And then when you see the difference, you will be pure and without wrong for the coming of Christ. And in that, you will choose the good. That you will be filled with the good things produced in your life by Christ to bring glory and praise to God the Father. Amen. And now I invite Mrs. Tamara Howe, principal, who will introduce our salutatorian and valedictorian. This year's salutatorian has been a student at SMA for six years. She has excelled in the classroom and the athletic arena. She is the daughter of Christopher and Maya Summerlotti and will, uh, will attend the University of Mary Hart Baylor in the fall. I am proud to introduce your 2023 salutatorian, Ms. Ileana Summerlotti. to welcome you to the 115th commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2023. I'm blessed that my parents sent me to this school. After being in public school for seven years, I was unsure how I would come to fit in. But thankfully, the Christian environment St. Marcus Academy provided has left me so grateful for the experiences I've had, the people I've met, and the memories I've made. Before I begin, I would like to start by thanking a few people who have shaped me into the woman I am today. And they're definitely huge influences on my future. To my mom for helping me find my voice and encouraging me to speak for what I believe in. You're always there for me and you listen to me even when it's already 10 p.m. on school night and you just want to go to bed. <laughs> I love you. To my dad for being humorous and making light of situations where I tend to be too serious you show me it's okay to smile every once in a while. Thank you. To Faith and Grace Gunther for being my home away from home while my house was being remodeled and through all of these years has made. Your constant welcome of me and your family has been such a blessing. Thank you. To my amazing boyfriend, Tony, who supports me in everything I do. Thank you. To all the teachers and administrators that have helped me and helped and created this supportive environment, thank you. To Coach Amy and Coach Thurman for being confident in me on and off the court, thank you. To the business office ladies for being my school moms and giving me advice and positivity when I'm stubborn, thank you. To my teachers and friends, thank you for these past six years at SMA. And last but not least, I want to thank God who's blessed me with this bittersweet journey. I can confidently say that prayer got me through high school. God has done so much for me, and I'm so excited to see what he has planned for me and my fellow classmates in the next portion of our lives. Right now, at the end of these four years, we can't wait to get out. But remember back to the days we spent elementary school wishing we were high schoolers? The excitement of growing up was something we anxiously waited for. We thought elementary school was so lame as we practiced walking in perfect lines in the halls, getting cramps while sitting crisscross applesauce, <laughs> and having a make-believe bubble in our mouth to keep us quiet. <laughs> we thought high school would be so much better. It would be like one of those cheesy Nickelodeon shows where no one goes to class and we just hang out in the hall talking about our stupid love lives. But no one tells you that the three years in between elementary and high school would be so long, and you'd change so much. We were in middle school. <laughs> oh, middle school, one of the best transitions we will have ever gone through. The awkward, silly days where we would scream Hamilton on the basketball bus to annoy Coach Flowers. The days we would come to theater rehearsal and aspire to have a lead role one day, just like all the high schoolers. 
We experienced Miss Howe before, during, and after pregnancy and survived. <laughs> was where our class made lasting memories, and Lacey, the twins, and I made TikToks in a hotel room and broke a lamp with an umbrella. <laughs> then we finally made it to high school, and freshman year started off with a horrible tragedy that no one will ever forget. Our class has always been like a family of brothers and sisters, and that year we lost one of our family members. So many come and go, but this wasn't the same. From that moment on, this class has only grown closer and has come to appreciate every moment we get together. Sadly, freshman year also ended early because of COVID and we became accustomed to connecting from a distance. And the impact those things had on us wasn't just something that ends here at graduation, but those memories will continue to influence our lives forever. All the long days we spent studying, taking notes, going to practice, and driving home were so worth it. However, we kept on wishing for more, and we thought if we could finally just be adults, everything would be better. But that day is here. And what are we doing? We wish we were back in elementary school. <laughs> Playing on the playground, reading Captain Underpants, and trading our juice box for a Capri Sun. It turned out high school wasn't the vision of carefree freedom we thought it would be. For instance, I think I had more homework my senior year than any year of high school. Or, yeah. <laughs> it seemed teachers met in the break room to plan major assignments just to ruin our lives. And I'm, <laughs> I'm convinced the Friday before report cards are due, they collectively agree to assign all major assignments. <laughs> Ms. Strauss has a five-page essay due, Coach Wade makes us have a macro test, and then even our off-campus <laughs> stats professor gives us four statistics assignments. <laughs> and the rule-free oasis we envisioned of high school didn't appear. We had to make sure we were wearing approved clothing before leaving the house. Instead of learning how to walk in a perfect line, we learned how to use an assigned staircase. <laughs> we also had to learn how to hide from Miss Howe if we forgot our ID. <laughs> Thank you for getting rid of the ID rule senior year. <laughs> Not to mention the very, very long days I had as a theater kid slash athlete. The longest days I'd spent at SMA were always the best. Getting out of practice at 6 p.m., eating dinner, rushing to rehearsal at 7 p.m., then ending rehearsal at 9 p.m. and waiting for my mom to pick me up was something I would do again if I had the chance. So was any of this really that bad? I know some of us may be thinking, none of this helped or prepared me for my future, but I know we'll ra later realize it indeed did. All of the multitasking will prepare us for what our parents like to call adulting. <laughs> Like when our bills, taxes, insurance are all due on the same day, believe it or not, someday we'll be thankful for this ordeal that we call high school. We think we have suffered, but losing a race only encourages us to practice more. Failing a test only encourages us to study more, and a lack of understanding only need, means we need to listen more. If we're really honest with ourselves, we've had a good four years. There are so many things we did for the last time that we become lasting memories. These were the long hours spent with our teammates at practice, driving to and from games, blaring music, and stopping at Bucky's. These were the last times we'd stumble up to the chapel at 8 a.m. and want to crawl back into bed. These were the last times we would engage in an overheated but entertaining conversation in the Strauss house. <laughs> These were the last times to be around friends we may never see again. Some may even venture to say we traveled the world together because most of us who went to D.C. in eighth grade ended up traveling to Italy as well our junior year. And the adventure didn't stop there because our class brought back senior retreats and while the girls got to chill at an awesome beach house, the boys got to go camping in the woods. <laughs> The 
beautiful history of San Marcos Academy should encourage the present and future generations to strive for excellence. I know we're all grateful for the foundation teachers build for us to succeed here, and I pray for all future students that they may receive even a fraction of the experience I've had. And I again want to thank the Lord for blessing me with the gift to now call myself a San Marcos Academy alumni, well, in a couple minutes. <laughs> um, there's nothing that we can do that we should not do for the glory of God. Um, I'm so grateful we have the privilege to be open about our faith here at the Academy, and I want all of you underclassmen to take advantage of that. I want to leave you with a reading of Colossians 3, 23 through 24. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as you're working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ, your servant. To the class of 2023, wherever life takes you, whatever you do, be strong, be kind, and pray to your full potential. Thank you. Mr. Mappin would in our math skills. 
which in all actuality was definitely justified. <laughs> I'll never forget the look of confusion and bewilderment across Mr. Mappin's face when he found out I was near the top of our class's rank. <laughs> also entirely justified considering how much TJ and I goofed off in his class. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I sat pondering what to say today. After writing an astounding four sentences, I naturally decided it was time for a well-deserved snack break. <laughs> Y'all know me, class. <laughs> now to set up this next part of the story, I need to tell everyone that my kitchen has a door. I'm not sure that's super common. I honestly think my parents installed it to keep us boys out. But funny enough, ever since Max's been gone, this door is never closed. <laughs> Maybe it was just you, bro. So there I am, marching into the kitchen from my desk, hoping we had some ice cream waiting for me in the freezer. And then bam, it hit me. Not just the door, but also today's idea for my speech. <laughs> You run into closed doors in life sometimes, but you gotta keep going. Often we walk through our lives, work so hard for things, have certain expectations, and set goals that do not get met. It can often feel like running into a closed door. On September 2nd, 2022, I broke my leg in our second football game of the season. Many doctors told me I would fully recover and return to play. After weeks of crutches, rehab, and watching Cole score maybe 100 touchdowns a game, I did return to play. <laughs> for about 30 minutes before it was broken again. It was like hitting a closed door. Dreams and goals faded. Reality set in, the game I loved was gone, forever. Classmates, often we're gonna hit that closed door. I'm sure we all experienced it this year one way or another. We didn't win that class election, didn't get the A in Coach Wade's class, <laughs> or didn't get into that dream school. Well, bad news, it doesn't end here. Someday we won't get that job we wanted so badly, we won't get the promotion at work we worked so hard for or won't see our dreams fulfilled the way we thought they would be. Lots of things in our lives are going to be amazing, and yet life isn't going to go exactly the way we plan it to. But that's okay, because we're gonna look back on the good, be thankful for the way things did turn out, and the journey we got to experience. I remember this one time one morning, my mother and I got locked out of the house before school and had to try every door to the house to get the keys. I raced around the house trying every door, but they were all locked. As we stood around dejected, my mom's face lit up with a revelation. She looked down at me and said, there's one more thing we ought to try. She brought me around to the back of the house and pointed up at a window I had never noticed before. The next thing I knew, my mother is boosting me in order to crawl through a window that was unlocked. I didn't even know this window existed. I fell into her closet, tumbled through her clothes, retrieved the keys, and off we went. <laughs> we may think we know it all, I'm definitely guilty of this, but I've found hope that when every door seems closed, it's not the end of the world. And often, another way is presented to us we didn't even know was there in the first place. My door was football. God didn't want me on the field this season, and maybe I'll never know why. But I do know I probably would not have applied to the school I'm going to without this incident. Already, I'm looking back and happy where I'm headed. While future plans and goals are great, and I'm a huge believer in them, all we can control is our effort and attitude towards today. God does the rest. The wisest man I've ever known once told me, take care of today, and tomorrow will take care of itself. I hold these words to be true. We can't always control the outcome of our efforts. However, keeping our heads down and taking care of business today will absolutely offer some peace of mind to us as we begin to navigate through the turbulent waves toward our bright future. Class of 2023, I iterate all of this to you because we will face failure and rejection. It is inevitable. Work hard today, and when you hit that closed door, just keep going. Today, San Marcos Academy releases us into the real world. Let us never forget the culture of love we got here. I felt it from something as simple as Mr. Gaskin never belittling a thought of mine. From Mr. Casillas halting his work 30 minutes each morning to watch Fox Business with me and fix all of America's economic problems. <laughs> and whether or not we felt it from the faculty or each other, we all felt the familial love at some point. For instance, there were the senior boys huddling together in the 20 degree sleet for body heat on the senior boys trip. Trust me, that was love. <laughs> Troop 142 for life, boys. There was Colonel Gillette teaching us valuable life lessons, or Mrs. Strauss driving hours each day to teach for five minutes and listen to our high school grievances the rest of class. There has never been a shortness of excitement and love here at SMA. Class of 2023, moving forward into the future, let us work hard in the present, persevere through the tribulations, and love and appreciate those around us. Thank you.
come to the point in the ceremony where I recommend the certifications of the graduates of the 115th class of San Marcos Baptist Academy. Mr. President, under the authority granted me as the Chief Academic Officer of San Marcos Baptist Academy, I'm pleased to certify that all the following students have completed the requirements for graduation as set forth by the State of Texas, the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, and the Accreditation Commission for the Texas Baptist Association. The Texas Association of Baptist Schools, excuse me. Will the first row please come forward? Dr. Ruth Wellborn, Chair of the Board of Trustees, will present the diplomas. Mr. Nathan Gasky will introduce the graduates today. Magna cum laude, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Mitchell David Howard, San Marcos, Texas.
Cadet Captain Celeste Susana Cordova, Kyle, Texas. Mary Alden Hamilton Epps, San Marcos, Texas. Lacey Elizabeth Fields, San Marcos, Texas. Alejandro Graham. Yeah. Adeline Faith Gunther, San Marcos, Texas. Kea Grace Gunther, San Marcos, Texas. <laughs> Wilson Baltazar Gunther, San Marcos, Texas. Cadet Sergeant Ali Mohammed Jassani, Bujumbura, Burundi. <laughs> Brighton Lee Koenig, New Braunfels, Texas. Cadet Major Cole Ryland Krakow, San Marcos, Texas. I'll tell you what they always tell me, uh, there's no workers comp for this. <laughs> Aubrey Monique Mahan, New Braunfels, Texas. Cadet Command Sergeant Major Timothy James Murphy, Niederwald, Texas. Javi Joyce Wukong, Botalimbe, Cameroon. Cadet Sergeant Destiny Anosike Njoku, Richmond, Chestnut, Maryland. Austin Thomas Payne, Buda, Texas. Preston D'Angelo Ramos, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands.
Cadet, Cadet Staff Sergeant Jackson Craig Reed, Corpus Christi, Texas. Cadet Staff Sergeant Andre Milano Solares. Yeah. Alexa Teresa Talatnik, Emory, Texas. Caitlin Page Weisberg, Dino, Ohio. <laughs> Cadet Staff Sergeant, Joaming Marcus Chu. project and the joy it will bring to the campus each year for homecoming. On behalf of San Marcos Academy, I would like to thank you, Class President, Cadet Command, Sergeant Major Timothy Murphy, Senior Class Officers, and to the Class of 2023, for the gift to assemble and construct the Ryan Fraser Bonfire Grounds. I'm proud of each of you and I appreciate your contribution to an SMA tradition of leaving a legacy and giving back to the Academy. and myself, I welcome you as the newest members of the SMA alumni community. You join up approximately 6,500 graduates throughout the world. The Alumni Association provides opportunities for you to maintain the friendships that you have formed during your time here at the Academy. The Association also recognizes the achievements of outstanding students and alumni and assist the school with recruiting and facility improvements in order to enhance connections to the Academy's rich heritage and culture. We hope to see you at homecomings in the future, beginning with your first one on October 20th, 2023. Congratulations, SMA alumni. the McNeil Cup, which was created in 1963 in memory of Reverend William McNeil. This award is the second highest award a student can receive at San Marcos Academy. 
Each year, the winner's name is engraved on a silver cup that is permanently located in the school's trophy case. The selection of this student is based on academic attainment, strong achievement in study of the Bible, Christian living in SMA and the community, and outstanding leadership. <laughs> this year's McNeil Cup recipient has been at San Marcos Academy for seven years. Here are a few comments as submitted by the faculty that led us to recognize the student today. The student has shown exceptional character while trying to help steer multiple friends to be better as students and friends. They have worked hard to keep their grades up with obstacles that most people do not even realize the student has. The student has always been respectful to others, always helped when needed, and picked others up when they are down. This student has been very involved in extracurricular activities throughout high school, including sports and theater. Through all, they model Christian living and kindness to others through their actions and friendships. This student has a wonderful sense of humor. Join me in recognizing this year's McNeil Cup winner, Mr. Zachary Christensen. <laughs> The final award this afternoon is the President's Cup. This award is presented to a senior who has consistently demonstrated excellence in character, scholarship, leadership, and Christian example. After faculty and staff nominations, a committee carefully selects the student to receive this award. This year's recipient will join an impressive list of former winners extending all the way back to 1948 when the President's Cup was first established. The winner will receive a commemorative award, and their name will be recorded on the original President's Cup on permanent display in Carroll Hall. To best introduce this student, I would like to share what the faculty and staff had to say. There were so many comments provided that I could not add all of them today, but here are some for this presentation. This student is an incredibly intelligent person with a great work ethic. I have truly enjoyed being able to have them in my class this year. Another said, I have rarely worked with someone with this maturity displayed by this student. Another said, as an all-around student, they do very well in their honors and dual credit courses. This student demonstrates great leadership wherever they go and in whatever they do. They are encouraging to those around them and are, best help, are the best helping hand ever. Teaching the student has been one of the real joys of my last six years at the academy. This student exemplifies everything that SMA stands for and represents. They are a tireless worker, a dedicated student who takes their academic life seriously as a personal accomplishment, something worthy of achieving. But they are so much more than just a great student. This student is a role model as they embody the mission of SMA taking their religious study as seriously as their academic studies. They wrestle with scripture and try to understand its relevance to the study. This student is a consummate teammate, always encouraging the best from their peers and never settling for mediocrity. This student has earned this award in the classroom, in the hallways, on the field, but most importantly in the way they carry themselves, embodying their desire to bear witness to all they are as a child of our risen Lord. Finally, for me, this student was in my kindergarten class when I was a music teacher 13 years ago. I have been able to view their educational career from its beginning through today, and I could not be more proud of who they have become. This is an exciting and humbling time for me as I am able to congratulate Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Mitchell Howard as the 2023 
now as the screen is coming down above my head, that's the cue. <laughs> We're going to take in some senior montage moments.
I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Ilya, you want to go ahead and make your way up to the stage, please? Audience, please stand for the alma mater, led by graduate Miss Ilyana Samarlati, and remain standing for the benediction, after which you'll be given some instructions before we recess. Are we doing the... Mr. Ainsworth, are you doing it over there? Also, thank you, Mr. Ainsworth and the band for playing today. over them, and that your Holy Spirit would guide them every step and every decision they make. As they go from here, may they remember everything you have taught them from the classroom, locker rooms, dorm rooms, and even the provisions of their family homes. And as they look forward, may they see you clearly, faithfully, and lovingly. May they, may they show up for their studies, their families, their training, and for their, their communities. More importantly, as they show up, may they show out your light in this world that desperately needs it. We praise you for the hours, the months, and the years that we've had with these students. As we were investing ourselves in them, they were subtly changing us. Thank you for trusting us with them as either a son, a daughter, student, or friend. From here, Lord, we trust them with you. They are yours. Guide them, protect them, bless them. And I also pray that they would be a blessing to you and your glory, making your name known to the nations, as Paul reminds us in Colossians, that in everything we do, to do it from the heart for the Lord, not for people. I pray that would be the mark that they leave on this world and your kingdom. The season of their lives that SMA comes to a close, but your will for them never closes, comes to a close, not till their last breath. May they be intentional with every breath given, and may it bring you glory. Thank you, Lord. Take these graduates to what awaits them outside these doors. In your name we pray. Amen.
please be seated. Except for the seniors. Wonderful. I know you're here. Alumni, I'm sorry, alumni. The Fair Network has prepared a reception for our seniors, the new alumni. We invite you to join us in the dining hall after the completion of the recessional. Please remain seated at this time. Graduates, it's my honor to say, after a whole year of chapel, and four years of chapel, but a year of senior chapel. Seniors, you are dismissed. No. Okay, but I just wanted to say that. <laughs> 